followed my channel for a little while, you'll know that I have a habit of turning things that aren't drum machines into drum machines. And so here's Neo Trinity being a drum machine. And to be clear, all of the sounds that you're hearing are coming from Neo Trinity. Uh, I've got a Kido uh, just off to the side doing some VCA duties just to shape some of the sounds, although not all of the sounds. Uh, but the sounds themselves are coming from Neo Trinity. There's nothing else involved in making the drum sounds. So um, let me explain what is going on here. So the kick drum sound is coming from channel E. Uh, so channel E is set to an LFO. Uh, triangle mode, but the rate is set into audio rate. The input for channel uh, E is coming from channel A, which is firing out uh, an envelope pattern, uh, just a decay envelope. That is going into the input of E and affecting the rate, which is giving a punch to our kick. I've also molded that off into Aikido to also shape the volume envelope of the kick as well. Um, F here is another LFO channel, this is doing our snare, so F is set to a sample and hold. Now usually, even with the rate turned all the way up, the sample and hold isn't quite crunchy enough for a snare sound, and that's where the meta input comes in. So uh, the meta input is just a high voltage, just coming from uh, an offset generator. And in the case of F here, um, the meta is just shifting the rate higher than you can get on the rate knob, just so we can get a little bit more crunch. In terms of what's creating the sequence for the snare drum, that is channel uh, B here. Now, I'm not actually using Aikido to VCA this at all, because to prove a point here, um, I've got uh, channel F set up to um, react to its input as a VCA, so the VCAing for the snare is happening inside Neo Trinity uh, without any external VCAs at all. I could have used an external VCA to be honest, but I just wanted to show that I could do that. The hi-hat is coming from channel D, again an LFO, triangle LFO. Um, that's just going straight into a kilo, and then the pattern for that is coming from channel C, which again is an envelope uh, with just a decay. And in this case, I've automated the rate a little bit, so we've got some longer and shorter sounds in there. So, yeah, Neo Trinity being a drum machine, and of course, you can generate different patterns by programming in the tricks or generating tricks algorithmically if we want to change the drum beat. Uh, for a little bit of fun, uh, just because it's fun, I've also molted out the output for this drum beat into uh, dark matter, and that sounds like this. Which is sick. Love processing drums with dark matter. Yes. So yeah. There's Neo Trinity being a drum machine. Probably not the main reason to own it, but hey, in a pinch, it might be nice to have. <laughs> 